we're doing the so-called cob lifting for lovely, we'll be starting on the lower third of the face, particularly the jawline area. So we still wanted to work on this jowl region here. So we have this so-called tissue laxity already. So we wanted to restore that firmness, that tightness, okay? So anatomically speaking, of course, in this region, uh, when we do the lower third of the face, the demarcation will be for the lower part of our face on the proportions of our face. So the alars to the tragus region, that's the superior border, and the mandibular line is the inferior border, and this is our posterior border and the anterior border. So what we're going to improve here will be this jaw part here. So we wanted to lift it, restore it to its original position. Now when you work on the lower third of the face, okay, uh, structures that you really have to avoid, we know that the facial artery is coming up from the mandibular notch here, so it goes upward medially, anterior medially, superiorly, okay, and it branches off to your inferior labial artery and the superior labial artery, and then it goes up to the part, it terminates to your terminal branch of your facial artery. So this is the one that you have to avoid. And plus, of course, from the facial nerve, you have to over avoid branches here. Okay, on this part, we know there's a mand marginal mandibular branch from your facial nerve, okay, in terms of your anatomy. And anatomical layer that you have to place your cob threads, you can use your the fat layer there or this mass layer there, okay? I'll be doing a combination of my cob threads as well as my screw threads to really give that firmness and tightness on this part, okay? Then after that, we'll be doing the upper neck region. So for my upper neck, again, superior border is the mandibular line. Inferior border will be just this part here. Above the area where we have our thyroid cartilages there. And then posterior will be this part here, okay? And I'll be focusing on this submental region here. So she has this sagginess here and a bulge here. So we still have like submental fats there. Now PDO threads have been known for lipolysis. They induce a so-called fat cell apoptosis. So somehow it will help in reducing those excess submental fats. Okay, lovely? Yes. Sir. So that's for our anatomical considerations and our landmarkings. As to the technique wise, so if we use turn to the left side, lovely, Technique-wise, our entry point will be on, I'll make two entry points for this part here for my cog thread and then direct it towards the marionette line there, okay? So that's for my cog lifting and later on, I'll be using some of my screw PDO threads too and reverse direction there, I'll be going towards the ear region, okay, or the lower lobe of our ear. And then for my neck lifting, I'll be using three cog threads here. I'll be doing three separate entry points going towards the center of the submental region. So this will be my vector there. And on the center region, I'll be also working on with my PDO screw threads. I'll be giving screw threads here just to tighten firm and lift this part here and induce the so-called lipolysis and total rejuvenation for lovely. Okay. So those are the anatomical considerations, landmarkings, and technique. How are we go going to proceed with our procedure? So for now, okay, so as with any uh, minimal invasive procedures that we do, like injections, okay, it's very significant that you cleanse the area, disinfect the area, and also apply your topical numbing cream. We leave it for about half an hour to more than that even up to an hour, okay? And I still do the so-called um, injection of lidocaine. So we'll be making use of our local anesthesia. Cut? Cut. Okay, anesthesia monotype. Like, you know,